The cause and effect chart documents the causes of a problem and how they interact. To add causes, hover to the side of an existing cause box and click the plus sign. Then, type your cause text into the new box. Another way to add causes is to type them into the sidebar and drag and drop them onto the chart. When building the cause and effect chart, it's helpful to ask two questions. Are the causes immediately to the right of this effect necessary? Is the combination of causes sufficient to cause this effect? Continue adjusting the causes until the answer to both questions is yes. To move a cause to a different location, click and hold the cause and then drag it to the right of the effect you want to connect to. Once the cause is in the target zone, you will see a connection line appear. You can then release and the cause will connect. You can move entire branches of causes this way. All connections will be preserved. To delete a cause, highlight it and then select the X in the toolbar menu, or hit delete on your keyboard. To attach evidence, solutions, notes, tasks, photos, documents, and other elements to a cause, open the corresponding tab in the sidebar and drag and drop the item on top of the cause. You can also attach photos, evidence, solutions, and other data types by clicking the icon that appears on the right of a cause box. Select Add Data and choose an option. Choose View to display different attributes on the cause. Properties allows you to set the cause type and or mark a cause disproved to document that you considered it but discovered it was not true. Terminate defines the reason a cause path was ended. Connects to enables you to connect a cause to pre-existing causes on the chart. Type the first few characters of the cause you want to connect to and select an option from the drop-down menu. CauseLink will display a circular icon with a unique letter, which is a hyperlink to the cause you selected. Collapse is a great way to simplify viewing large charts by hiding portions of a branch. Click the Collapse checkbox and you will see a circle appear with the number of causes that are hidden. If you want to leave an overview description of the collapsed causes, click in the text box and type in your summary. To expand the collapsed cause path, hover over the collapse circle and either single or double click to expand one at a time or all at once. To add color to the chart, click a cause and then select a color from the color palette in the toolbar. To colorize a group of causes, turn on the Highlight Cause Path from the toolbar or hold down the Control key and select Causes before colorizing. To see specific data displayed on the chart, select the view icon from the toolbar and select a data type. This will display all instances of that data type on the chart. Creating a cause and effect chart helps you identify causes that can be controlled with solutions to prevent the issue from happening again.